Hi everybody, this is Methokaiju, and today I'll be uh, talking about some brand new Godzilla anime information, or Godzilla Monster Island information. Um, this is pretty groundbreaking, um, we finally have like a ton of information regarding this um, anime movie thing. Um, so yeah, I guess, let's see, the voice actors as well as the basic, um, the basic plots. Actually, it's not really that basic, it's pretty detailed. Uh, when it takes place, just a ton of information came out for this anime, so, uh, yeah, let me just read what this article says, so, um, Godzilla anime film will, with story by Jen Urubuchi, takes place 20,000 years in the future, so obviously, um, this takes place, obviously, in the future, obviously, so, um, yeah, so that's cool, so, takes place 20,000 years in the future. Uh, the tagline of the poster says, uh, we will definitely take back this planet. And that's what, you know, the poster, or the tagline of this poster that I'm showing you right now is, um, saying. Uh, anyhow, right here it says, the film takes place 20,000 years in the future on Earth, where Godzilla is at the top of the ecosystem. Uh, and humans fight to take back the planet. So I guess the planet that we saw, you know, in the, uh, or basically, when they're saying monster planet... They're basically talking about planet Earth. Uh, so that's confirmed. Um, on Earth, kaiju suddenly appear, and the ultimate being of Godzilla rises to exterminate them. Uh, so we're definitely going to be seeing other kaijus. Who, know if they're, who knows if they're new or if they're, you know, old? We'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, where am I at? Uh, okay. Okay. After half a century of war between Godzilla and the Kaiju, humanity devises a plan to escape the planet. A group of, hu of humans chosen by AI board a spaceship called Aratram to travel 11.9 light years to immigrate to a new planet, Tau Ceti E, which rotates around the star Tau Ceti in the constellation Cetus. Um, this is also, by the way, an unconfirmed exoplanet, so I guess it's possibly a real planet, actually, so... I guess it's like kind of a trivia thing, I guess. Uh, after traveling for 20 years, the ship barely makes it to the new planet, only to find that it cannot support life, so human race seems to be doomed. The protagonist is Haleo, pictured above, or, you know, pictured in the poster, who saw Godzilla kill his parents before his eyes when he was four years old. Uh, during the 20-year voyage, he has thought of only going back to Earth and killing Godzilla to avenge his parents. He joins a team that will conduct a dangerous uh, trip through hyperspace to return to Earth. However, when they arrive, they find that 20,000 years have passed on Earth, and the world they once knew has completely changed. Uh, the film will stream globally on the Netflix service this year. Uh, the film will star, um, probably going to butcher some of these names, but uh, Yuki Kaji, Takashiro Sakurai, Mama, Mamoru... Miyano, Junishi Suwabe, Kana Hanazawa, and Tomakazu Sugita. Uh, it seems that the release date for this film has also been announced, which is amazing. And it will be released in Japan in November. Uh, I guess this is exactly what it says. The film will have a stage event at Anime Japan 2017 on Sunday, March 26. The six main voice actors will appear at the event. The official website for Polygon Pictures Godzilla anime film Reveal that the film's November debut in Japan and the film's full title on Friday, which we obviously already know is Godzilla Monster Planet. So, um, yeah, that is very, very awesome, awesome information. So it takes place in the future. Uh, there's obviously this hero that wants to avenge his parents. You know, pretty cheesy and cliche, but oh well, I guess. Um, I guess Godzilla killed his parents. We'll obviously see a ton of new monsters, hopefully. Uh, I mean, old monsters, you know, just monsters in general, uh, a ton of other monsters. Um, so the only thing that kind of is a little bit weird is um, right here where it says, however, when they arrive, they find that 20,000 years have passed on Earth. So are they kind of implying that they weren't on planet Earth anymore or something? I don't really get that part. Um, but yeah, lot, lots of information here. Um, so I guess here's the poster. I mean... There's really nothing to talk about. I mean, there's just, you know, a human, an anime human with just a ton of robots and cyborgs and whatever just all over the place. So, that's about it. Nothing really implied here. Um, so, yeah, that's the main character right there. So, I guess you'll be seeing 
him throughout the entire film. Uh, so yeah, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, so I guess we haven't seen the Godzilla design yet. We, we barely have seen anything for this movie. We've only seen, I guess, the human characters, just the robots that were made by man. Um, I guess some shots of the planets, like 20,000 years like later or whatever, into the future. And that's about it. No monsters, no nothing. So that is very interesting. Yet again, the movie is released until November. So we have until November for, you know, lots of new information. Um, like Godzilla design, Godzilla's design and everything. So... Yeah, but that basically for this video. Please tell me in the comment below, what do you think of this anime information? All this tons of information. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, to be honest, it's kind of cliche how they're doing the whole, you know, oh, my parents got killed by this thing, and so I need to avenge them, and now I'm the main hero and everything. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of cliche. They, they should have gone with something else, in my opinion, but oh well. It, it doesn't really, like, it slightly bothers me, but it's not going to ruin the entire movie. Uh, so that's basically all for this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. This is Mikaiju, signing out.